Molly Dunsworth. You're listening to Monday Morning Critic. Thank you for that, Molly, I'm going to tell you, um, if I see you out my window, just take the flowers and go. Don't don't try to con- <laughs> don't try to convince you're not coming in. We're not playing that game. Um, but w- we're going to work our way there. We're going to work our way there. So um, big family growing up, Molly. Big family, right? You and three other siblings. Yeah, yeah, a brother and two sisters. Wow, and and Sarah is also an actor, correct? Yes. yes. Now, now, do you and Sarah, Molly, talk shop? Do you guys talk about acting when you get together? Um, not really, honestly. Um, yeah. Sometimes we'll we'll talk about like people we know in the biz and you know the way of things, but we don't really talk about our our techniques or anything like that. I guess. Right. How about you coming up as a um. As you know, growing up and, and, and coming into your own as an actor, um, what were your like? I want to say influences, but like, were there shows, were there movies, were there actors or actresses that that really kind of sparked your? I mean, dad's an actor, mom, mom dad was an actor, mom, uh, Sarah is an actor. So, like, I'm curious to know if there's other actors outside of that spectrum that maybe sparked your interest or a movie that like sparked your interest even more. Um, well, I grew up on like on the Goonies. Oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah. L- Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Stand by me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then when I got a little older, it was uh, Heather's. I was completely obsessed with Heather's. Yes. Yes. And Great. Pump up the volume still gets me stoked when I watch it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, like, you know, it sounds like you have a pretty eclectic taste in movies, right? Because Heather's is awesome. Uh, Pump yeah, Up the Volume yeah. is awesome. Stand By Me you is know. awesome. So, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's great. How about an actor that maybe did it for you outside of your, like I said, outside of the family? Um, River Phoenix, actually. Yeah. I When I was younger, I had, like, a whole collage of him on my wall. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I, like, he passed away when I was, like, three, so obviously I didn't discover him until after he had passed away. Right. But um, I just, I thought he was so brilliant in everything he did, and I just, yeah, watching interviews with him and reading his quotes and watching his films, I was pretty nuts over River Phoenix. So I found him very inspiring. And Molly, he's one of those actors that, like, you wonder what what twenty twenty three would have been like for him, right? Had he made it, and had he had he continued, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you know he would have been like just one of those actors that we're talking about in the same sentence. It's like Tom Hanks or or you know Meryl Streep. He would have been in that same that same sentence. So yeah, yeah, very very difficult, very difficult. Um, you know, Dad is a is a legendary actor. Dad Dad was legendary actor. Um. Highly regarded uh, for those listening or watching Trailer Park Boys is, is maybe one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. I think it's currently on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it's currently on yep. Netflix. Yep. It, it is, um, yeah. So so whatever you wanted to say, Molly, because um, I know how tough it is to, to lose someone. I mean, granted, it, whether it's 10 years ago, five years ago, it's still hard as hard. Right. And um, whatever you wanted to say about about your, your wonderful, your wonderful dad, who's super, who's super talented and just brought so many people so much joy. Yeah, and that's what he did in all aspects of his life, really, yeah. is brought people joy. Yeah. He was so generous, you know, like t- to anyone he would meet, he'd pick up hitchhikers. He'd like every little thing he did was so, oh, he was magnificent. He was hilarious. He was eccentric and weird. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all those things dads have to be. Yeah, all those things yeah. dads have to be. Yeah, that, but that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Like, Oh, that yeah. It it's weird because I think you lost him at the same age I lost my dad was the seventy one, and then you yeah. lost him on ten sixteen, which is my birthday. I just weird things oh, in really? life. Yeah, weird things in life. I mean, I I know none of that means anything, but like I don't know. I just when I research guests, I like I think about I process probably too much. But um, right. do, do you did he give you advice? Did he give you um things that worked for him as an actor? Do you find growing up that you know? So Molly, just anything you wanted to say about that part of it? Yeah. Um, well, he had the cameras on us when we were little kids, like candidly, right? Oh, uh, okay. All the time. Yeah. So yeah. we got used, we all, my siblings and I and my mom, we all got used to having a camera on us Yeah. all yeah. the time. And, yeah. and when it wasn't just like, you know, family events or just filming us doing playing or whatever, he would really encourage us to write our own scripts or monologues or plays. So yeah, that started you know, from the time I was born, um, he also would get us to read his lines with him. Like he was always looking, 
Yeah, yeah. He'd always be looking for someone to run lines. So I did that with him starting fairly young as well. Wow. And, and not only are you bonding with your dad, but you're becoming like this better actor that soon. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a double dose of like super positivity, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh that's very special. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. very special. Um, but Trailer Park Boys is one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. Like, it's so yeah. it's so great. And I, I thought I read where, you know, on the show, I, I your dad drinks like heavily on that show, right? Yeah. But like, but in real life, that was not his thing, right? That was no, not, not at all. He, I, I saw him drink a beer once ever, <laughs> and that's like my whole childhood. He didn't drink. I wow. I remember seeing him with a beer, and I was like, "Oh, was it, Dad's having a beer." Like, oh. <laughs> Once ever, <laughs> you know. So, so like, no, normally I would never ask this question, but I'm going to ask you because it was on Instagram and it's public. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would never ever ask this, but like, there was a. I love your Instagram, by the way. It's very honest. It's kind of like a peek at your life. I I just think it's oh, a very kind of you. cool follow. Yeah, and when we leave, we'll we'll give all that great information out to those listening or watching. Um, so on your Instagram, there's there was a post, two or three posts ago where you were celebrating your sobriety. Um, Molly, whatever you wanted to say about that, um, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, yeah, I went uh, 126 days without drinking. And then I thought, okay, well, you know, I've, I've gone this long. I think I can just keep it to special occasions now. So I had a drink one night, next night didn't drink. And then before I knew it, I was, I was drinking a bottle of wine a night again. And I was yeah. like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, you know, I wake up the next morning, I have anxiety. I get night sweats in the middle of the night. Like I don't, alcoholism is so prevalent in our society, you know, and yeah. I just, I don't want to be that way. And for like, I'm not judging anybody else. I know some you know works for some people but for me i just kind of figured it's all it's all or nothing with me like i can't i i don't want to drink anymore i don't like the way it makes me feel the next day especially like i already suffer from anxiety and uh it, it it's a quick fix right yeah i i, I completely completely get it and, and i'm kind of the same way because like sunday through thursday i don't have a drop of anything but it's like on friday it's like you, you know you, I, i'll have more than i should or like a saturday night i have more than i should then your weekend is shot. You feel terrible. Like, yeah. and it's like w w when you, when you want to have a drink, it's funny how you like car, not you, but just people, me, you, whoever we yeah. carve out ways of like justifying it. So I'm like, well, I don't drink during the week, but on the weekends, like, like, like you, like right. special occasions, I'll have some, like, isn't it funny how we create like our own little, okay. Like um, yes. places. Isn't that unbelievable? Molly, I was just thinking about that as you were speaking. It's just, it's so funny how that works. It is. Yeah, it, it really is. And it's so hard. It's really hard to just kick it and stop. That's why I asked you about it. Because like, if somebody said, "Okay, don't don't have a beer for a month," that would be a challenge. Like, that would be really really hard for me. Like, yeah. you know, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't be like salivating, but like, I don't know. I totally get. I totally get it. So yeah, yeah. thank you for your honesty. I appreciate that. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, away from acting. Away from acting. What are your hobbies? What are things you like to do to get away from the madness of life? Um, I'm really. Oh, outdoorsy sounds so yucky, but I, no, I that's a good word. Yeah. <laughs> I love being outside. Um, yeah, camping. I love camping. I just got a sweet new sleeping bag that I'm really excited to try out. Um, new Therma Rest. I love camping and hiking and burning stuff. I like looking for sea glass and rocks on beaches. And so, sea glass is the thing on Instagram that you always hold up. Right, yes. right. So, so, yes. so, so, Molly, this is a stupid question. Like, what is sea glass? Like, is it just so? This is like a stupid. I can't believe I'm asking this, but like, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what sea glass is. Like, I. Well, it's it's. I would assume. I mean, it's it's from old like fishermen and people. Oh, who I got you. Okay, it washes up. The, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I call it well cooked when it's really old and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's a really well cooked piece. <laughs> yeah, and they're beautiful to kind of look at. Like once you get them, like those well cooked pieces you're talking yeah. about, like they're beautiful. Yeah. So they are. when you when you camp, do you like do you do RV? Do you do tent? How do you, how do you do that? tent for sure yeah uh yeah you don't get nervous like like i run on trails uh by we have like this conservation area but like yeah. i always get nervous like what am i gonna do if i ever see a bobcat or like a bear oh, like, yeah. i get I, yeah. I get nervous do you get nervous like that molly do you like have, sometimes like, every yeah. once in a while yeah i'll be lying in my tent at night and i'll be like but what if 
<laughs> but what if I hear the rustle outside my tent or like something comes up and pushes in on my tent, you know? Yeah. I, and, and then like, or if I bring my dogs out at like 3 a.m. just to use the bathroom or 2 a.m. and I hear like a rustling, I'm like, oh God, like here we go. I, I'm thinking of every horror movie I've ever seen, you know? Yes. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's great. You, you have to have those in your hobby specifically is just getting away from life, which is so like, I mean, you have to have, everyone has to have something like that. Or you'll yeah. lose, like you'll lose yourself in the in the in the flow of, of of the of the world, I guess, right? So, yeah, yeah that sounds like a great um a, a great thing. Um, before we get into from, I wanted to ask you more questions. So, as um outside of dad's influence and and maybe perhaps your sister's influence, do you have an acting coach? Do you have somebody you go to? Uh, have you studied somewhere? How did how did that come about for you, Molly? That that part of it. Um, I. I took a few classes with my dad yeah and yeah. um but that's you know since he passed i haven't actually i haven't had any training i haven't yeah. nothing formal really just practice i guess and it's amazing to see you on screen handle your own like you have a strong filmography you're great in everything you do so it's like it's really Thank impressive you. to see and that's a great thing molly like somebody can like have a a background of okay they go to school they do this and that but somebody's just as good and has a different path or a third person you know i'm saying like acting is kind of weird like that because if you want to be a doctor pretty much everyone has the same training right pretty much right you know but yeah. with acting it's like there's so many roads that lead to that same town like it's yeah very true yeah, yeah. Uh, so speaking of towns um so i have to say you're so great as jasmine um uh you when, when i saw when i saw her i turned to my wife i said i gotta i gotta get her on like because it was so <laughs> convincing like your jasmine is so convincing she convinces this like first i'm yelling at the guy i'm like what are you doing walk away walk away <laughs> and you're so convincing jasmine's like well you know i'm just and he buys into it and then uh oh here comes jasmine in the window and i'm like well, maybe she's nice and like oh, okay. <laughs> a minute goes by oh maybe she's nice Oh, she's not nice. <laughs> she's really bad. No, she's really bad. Um, how fun is it to play a character like Jasmine? I mean, so like I really think, and I, and I was interviewing another fellow Canadian actor, Avery Conrad, yesterday. And I mentioned you, and I mentioned um, Jamie um, McGuire. McGuire, I think his last name is. He he plays the smiley guy who always. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. But, but, both Canadian actors, and, and I was like. You know, the, you each have like a couple episodes a piece, but like you're such a big part of the show. Like it's like your your characters stand louder than like two episodes, if that makes any sense. Like I feel like your the impact that you that your characters have given to from is has been pretty awesome. Oh, that's a huge compliment. Thank yeah. You. So so talk about so talk about like Jasmine and 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 how how that came about because I just she's so fascinating. She looks this innocent little soul, and it's like <laughs> no, she is a horrible horrible monster. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's it was interesting because it was the first audition I've ever done that I got to do by myself. It mm. was like very few lines. I didn't have to have a reader. I stood there with my bouquet in front of my iPad on my tripod and I I acted. And then I sent it off to my agent a few days later. She, she said, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know yeah um, and and so they they want to put a pin in you for that role and i thought okay well they're probably going to get me back for a call back or something you know but they they didn't i just i had one audition and then bam um how, so how cool how cool is it watching yourself on um on screen and that like it's such a it's such a wonderful moment and like it's a, it, that's why people watch like horror or you know, TV or movie be, or, or like thrillers. It's because of scenes like this, like the one where she's out, you know, the second time we see her where everything kind of the, the shit hits the fan. Um, do you, do you, do you, do you watch it back? Are, are you proud of yourself when you watch it? Are you critical of yourself when you watch it back? Like what, what is that like for you, Molly? Honestly, I haven't seen from because it hasn't aired in Canada yet. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. That's a, ooh, a weird one, but I, Somebody sent me a small clip of yeah. um, a little bit of my se the scenes that I did, but I haven't actually been able to watch the whole thing. Oh, so you so. haven't seen the final product then? Oh, so that's, no. that's kind of interesting then. So you're like listening yeah. to me tell you about it and you've kind yeah. of, oh, that's really cool. That's a kind of a, yeah. a fun way to approach it. Wow. Um, yeah. But you have to see it because the final product is so, well, like you said, oh, you did I, see that. Yeah. It's a, I really want to watch the whole show. Like I've heard, you know, I get a lot of messages about it actually, like a surprising amount of, 
of messages about it. And I'm like, oh, I, I haven't seen it. I have to be honest. But yeah, it's it's a so terrific cool. show. Like, it's so terrific. Like, I can't yeah. believe, like, I think a lot of people know about it, but I almost feel like it should be, like, triple, like, the amount of people. Like, it's so many people, like, that I've talked to that, that do, like you said, many, it's got a strong fan base, but, like, yeah. I wish it, it's such a highly regarded show. It's so frightening. How would you do, uh, Molly, in an environment like that? Like, where at, you know, you're in this place that nobody can get out of, and at night, these terrible monsters come out and try to lure you out of this place. <laughs> so how would, not necessarily Jasmine, but how would Molly do in this? Well, you do have a camping background, so that would help, but how would I you do. do? How would you well, do in this? I'm actually, I'm working with an arborist in real life right now, so I'm getting pretty familiar with chainsaws. So <laughs> uh, that might be yeah. helpful. <laughs> Chainsaw is a great, great start to this. Um, you, you, you know, the, the Russo brothers produced this, which they're huge. They, for those listening, directed Avengers um, Endgame. How many days did you spend on set, Molly? Good question. I was trying to remember that and go back through my emails. I, I can't remember. We did um, We did one shoot that I think it was about three days. Mm -hmm. And then I w went back and actually reshot what what we had shot. They made some changes to the scene, and of course, me being me was like, "Oh, I did something horribly wrong. It's because of me." Yeah. But no, they just wanted to write it a little differently, shoot it a little differently. Yeah. Um. So I think I it that, uh, six days maybe or something. But okay, yeah, it, that makes sense. It, it was during COVID, so it f felt like a lot more because I had to go in for COVID tests every day for weeks, especially because I was I had the, you know, the it, scene. Sure, <laughs> the sure. Intimate, the intimate scene or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is that was is that a real town that they used for the set of that? Um, somebody was saying it was it was like a real town, but they haven't used it in a while. What what, what is that 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 place that you guys shot, Molly? What do you, do you happen to know what that is? The, the... Um. It's in Dartmouth. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's like a big studio where, oh, okay. I, where I was shooting anyway. I'm not sure where, since I haven't watched it, I couldn't tell you where. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Is, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's a fun character to play for you, I have to believe. Oh, like that's so fun. So so do they do they like cut uh, well I, I'm not gonna go too far into it because I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen it yet. But um yeah, I mean a character like that is is just uh and do you create like in your mind like what who Jasmine could have been like? We, I don't know. Like I'm into this. They gave me a couple episodes of the second season to watch, like five episodes. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I don't know the, the the backstory of the monsters, but do you ever do you create your own backstory in your head, Molly? Like when you're thinking about who Jasmine could have been, or well, I guess we know what she is, but do yeah. you create or, or maybe in other roles? Do you kind of create you know potentially what building up to what you're doing now in your own head? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do try to do that for most yeah. roles. Yeah. I didn't so much for Jasmine because I was like, I don't. Hmm. I didn't. Yeah. I just thought she's she's spooky. Like she's this is what she wants and she's going to get it. But I didn't really make up a whole background gotcha. of what she could. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And, and, and it's <laughs> funny because it's funny because these characters are so good. You haven't seen it yet, but like it's so convincing because like the scenes like with Jasmine with other monsters like it keeps happening. Like there's an old woman that does it. There's a a couple. It's like so. There must be pretty powerful to to, to be able to do this. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, two more questions. Thank you for all this time, Molly. You're so kind and thank oh, you. Oh, thank this. you. Yeah. Um, you know, when you get roles like this, does it kind of like a show that's widely popular? Does it put pressure on you for the next role, or are you the kind of person where it's like, you know what? I'll take it as it comes. I will. I will work myself through it. I'm not going to get you know because obviously, po very popular show. How do you approach things like that and not getting, you know, not getting too, uh, putting pressure on yourself for that next opportunity? Um, I don't know. I try to keep busy with other stuff, which yeah. I didn't, I didn't for a long time. I was just like, acting's my jam and I need as many auditions as possible. But now I'm like, like you said, kind of take it as it comes. Like, oh, I have an audition. I'll, I'll work really hard on that. And then yeah. I'll go do my other thing you know yeah so, yeah, yeah that's great it, it, from your instagram and looking at you know other things it just seems like you really you take life one day at a time like like the rest of us and it's good advice and you know you don't put too much pressure on yourself so that's a really 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 good thing uh molly before i let you go do you want to give out any of your social media maybe a future project whatever else you want to throw out there so people listening or watching they can look you up follow you all that fun stuff 
Um, sure. I think, what is my Instagram name? Molly.Dunsworth, I think. It is. It is. Well, I want to yeah. make sure I, well, well, I want to make sure I have it right because I do not want to give people the wrong. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Usually, usually I have it on the screen, but you're right. It is Molly.Dunsworth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And people yeah. could follow you and, you know, um, and, and, and we're really, I'm really cheering for you for more opportunities because you're clearly Thank very, you. very talented, Molly. And, um, watching you on screen was just so much fun. It's been one of my highlights from watching the show from, so. Thank you for that. And thank you for this. Thank you for this. This is